Household white vinegar does an okay job of killing weeds, but what about the horticultural stuff? The 20%, 30% acetic acid? Let's check it out and find out. Hey, I'm Dave Marciniak, landscape designer and owner of Revolutionary Gardens. And back in 2015, I did a video where I compared and contrasted the vinegar and dish soap and Epsom salts homebrew weed killer against Roundup. And I got a lot of crap in the comments about the fact that people saying, oh, you should have used horticultural grade vinegar. Well, that's not what the recipe called for, but it got me curious. Does horticultural grade vinegar work? So I bought a bunch and let's check it out. Let's see what we're doing. So here's what we're working with. Over here, you can see I've got a spray bottle. Right now that's filled with water. That's gonna be our control. Uh, we've got regular household distilled white vinegar. That's about a 5% acetic acid solution. Here, we got 20% horticultural vinegar. So that is definitely, definitely strong. And then we got the really big stuff, the 30% vinegar. Now, what we need is a nice consistent weedy patch where we can go ahead and test this and see how they all work out compared to each other. So I'm in a little corner of my backyard, something that's gonna get all torn up when I put my new gate in, so I really don't care what happens to it. And you can see behind me, I've divided it into two foot by two foot squares. Uh, each square is gonna be a different concentration of vinegar, and let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, it really doesn't take a whole heck of a lot. So I'm gonna end up doing about a half cup of each type of vinegar. So starting off, there's just the regular distilled household vinegar. Pour that up in there. And let's go ahead and lit it up and get spraying. Okay, now we're stepping it up and moving to the 20% vinegar solution. And one thing I definitely want to point out here is at this point you're getting into a really, really strong concentration. And just because it's vinegar, uh, don't go thinking you can use this in your salad dressing or that this is some like totally benign, playful sort of thing. Make sure you're wearing gloves when you mix this, goggles. Um, ideally, I should be wearing long sleeves, but it's 94 degrees out right now, and I'm just, you know what, I'll take my chances. Okay, now one more. We're doing the 30% vinegar. And if you thought the 20% was something you needed to take seriously, Holy cow, you guys. I'm honestly a little bit afraid of this. Um, I was cleaning a pool one time, pouring in a gallon of muriatic acid, leaned over, and holy heck, that just hurt the whole rest of the day. So I'm gonna be really, really cautious with this because I don't have a respirator or anything else like that. But, oh man, that is, that's some potent stuff. Let's try it out. All right, last one. Let's do the 30%. Okay, that's all of them sprayed. I'm standing here in the shade because just to update you on what the weather conditions are for today, it's about 10.30, 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, current air temperature right now is 94 degrees according to the weather app and it's supposed to hit like 97, 98 today. Sunny, no chance of rain. I'm not irrigating, nothing like that. So it'll give us a good idea to see exactly how this product works. Um, so we're gonna go ahead. It's like I said, 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go ahead and give it a little bit of time. We're actually gonna check back in after dinner time, see what it looks like. All right, I know I said that we'd check in after dinner and it's only about 3.30. So only about four and a half, five hours have gone by, but we've got a result. So I wanna go ahead and show you that. So for starters, that's our water, that's our control. So obviously nothing's happened. I'd be worried if something had happened. Now, that's the 5% acetic acid solution. So that's your standard household vinegar. So you can see that's definitely, uh, we got some burn action going on. Now, that is the 20%. You can see it's even crispier. And now we go over to the 30. And yeah, four and a half hours in, we got some serious browning there. So the vinegar did something, 
So now we just kind of need to revisit in about 72 hours and in about a week, see what happened. So there you have it. I'm gonna call that a little bit of a result to start with. Um, that's where I'm gonna end this video. The next video is gonna be checking in at the 24 hour and 72 hour mark. I'll do those in the next video. And then we'll also revisit it in about a week, just kind of see how much of the weeds were actually killed, what's bouncing back, how quickly it's bouncing back. So that'll give us a good sense of what works. If you wanna make sure you don't miss those updates, go ahead and click subscribe so you're subscribed to my channel and that'll pop up in your feed when that video is done. Again, I'm Dave Marciniak with Revolutionary Gardens. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, get outside and play.